The biggest one is in contention for the best super ceramic popper in the game, but its cross paths add some flexibility that we're going to cover today. To start, the 500 Mortar Monkey shoots every 2 seconds, has 200 pierce, stuns bloons for 0.5 seconds, and does 20 damage normally, but 40 damage to ceramics and blimps. These are already impressive stats, but the crosspads are what make it interesting. Upgrading this guy to a 520 will increase its attack speed by 85%, making it attack every 1.08 seconds. This increases its damage tremendously, makes it stun much more consistent, and makes microing it much easier. Compare this to the 502 crosspath where the biggest one gains a napalm modifier that applies damage over time on effective balloons. This napalm deals 25 damage every 1.25 seconds for 3 ticks, inflicting a total of 75 damage, and this ends up dealing more damage than the rapid reload crosspath, but it has a time delay. So both of these crosspaths are roughly equal in power, so it really depends on your needs. If you are using the biggest one to clean up super ceramics, then you should definitely go with a 520 mortar as it has a more reliable stun and easier micro. However, if you're in a weird case where you're using the biggest one for mob damage, then a 502 is the right choice as blimps live long enough for the napalm damage to stack up, though this would be a one-off scenario as there are many other towers in the game that are better for mob damage.